So Siemens president and CEO been credited with turning around the company's fortunes. Well, what will he do next? Well, we can ask him directly. Peter Lusher joins us now from Munich. Thank you so much for joining us. First of all, in terms of what you did to actually raise your forecast, does it mean that the world economy is looking a whole lot better than it was just six, seven months ago? Do you think we're over the worst? And what's your biggest concern? We are very much encouraged in terms of uh, the growth profile. What we see for Siemens, it's a very broad-based growth profile. Water intake uh, over a third coming out of the emerging economies. So the growth momentum from the emerging economies is uh, fully intact. But we also see a major growth coming out of Germany. It's across all businesses. So it's a very broad-based, healthy growth profile. And it's our fourth quarter. Uh, in terms of consistency of delivery, of growth in terms of sales and order intake. So I'm very encouraged in terms of by the opportunity space what we have as a green infrastructure so pioneer if you all talk around about, the world if you across talk, all of our businesses. Yeah, so if you talk about this healthy growth prospect, is it inflation that's, that's worrying you? Is this the next big challenge for any big company such as yourself? I think currently we, uh, we see uh, a very healthy picture from this perspective as well. Uh, the key thing is that we have refocused the company on a broad-based infrastructure portfolio, on sustainability solutions, and we see the need for it all around the world. And therefore, the tailor-made uh, solutions uh, portfolio of Siemens is very much uh, tailored towards the need what yeah. we see around the world, being it in emerging economies, but also being it in mature economies like the US or like Europe. So I continue to be optimistic. And uh, despite turbulence, uh, turbulences, what we see in some parts of the world, the overall growth profile of the Are world is healthy. Yeah. and the opportunity space for Siemens is very encouraging. Mr. Lusher, I wanted to ask you about acquisitions because you say you are actively looking. What kind of companies are you looking for? And do you think it's the right environment? Are you not concerned that you may overpay for some of these targets that you're looking at? We have clearly communicated uh, that we are focusing on capital efficient growth. Uh, we have a very healthy growth profile and we will make uh, add-on acquisitions in the core area of our portfolio as we have now defined it and uh, therefore we are also proactively looking into supplementing our Strong so how many potential acquisitions? potential acquisitions going forward. Yeah, and I was going to ask you actually how many potential acquisition targets do you have at the moment? We have a continuous uh, process in this regard and we are continuously looking uh, according to the opportunities which are out there. And in terms of when we may expect one of these sizable acquisitions, can it be before the end of this fiscal year, so by September? Let's not speculate. I mean, whenever we have to report something, we will do and, uh, and basically communicate. Uh, Mr. Lusher, I also wanted to ask you about, of course, the IPO of Osram. Is, uh, how is that progressing? Are we going to have an announcement very soon? Indeed, we uh, have communicated uh, to the market that we plan to float the business uh, through an IPO in, uh, in the fall of this year. We have started uh, to put the teams together and uh, the whole IPO process is fully uh, on track uh, in respect to the timeline given to the market. All right, Mr. Lusher, a pleasure to speak to you. Peter Lusher there, the CEO of Siemens.